Hey guys, what's up? It's Carlos and this is the Akata One Touch Idol 3. Well, that's a pretty long name. So I've been using it for the first 24 hours and here are my thoughts. Well, kind of first impressions on it. Now this is a budget phone priced at $250, but it doesn't feel like a $250 phone. It feels like it would be worth a lot more, say like a flagship device. Now I'm really digging the back of this phone. It just screams sexiness, especially with the Idol 3 logo close to the center. The screen is a 5.5 inch screen with a 1080p display and so far I'm really enjoying it, especially watching YouTube videos. Oh, did I also mention it has dual front facing speakers? Yeah, I love front facing speakers. It just makes watching content a whole lot better. The phone is also very lightweight. It's a bit scary for some odd reason. I expected the phone to be a lot heavier. I don't know why, but it's really not heavy at all. One feature that I'm also enjoying is the rotation. You can pretty much have this phone upside down and the screen will rotate to whatever way you hold the phone. So you can hold it upside down like you normally hold the phone and the screen will just rotate back. So multitasking on it is really good. It switches from app to app without no problem. The only annoyance that I have with this so far are that the animations are a bit too slow for me. I feel like they take forever to do. So I switched it to a faster speed in the developer settings and so far that has fixed my issue. It also makes the Idol 3 feel way faster than what it should be. Now the Idol 3 is running on Android Lollipop 5.0.2 with a quad core CPU, 2 gigabytes of RAM and the variant I currently have is a 16 gigabyte model. Now these aren't bad specs for such a low price phone. Oh wait, the camera is also a 13 megapixel rear shooter and it has a front facing 8 megapixel camera. What I'm loving from the camera is that there are a whole bunch of modes that you can choose from to take pictures with. It even has a manual mode to let you adjust the shutter speed, white balance, ISO, pretty much everything I do with on my mirrorless camera which costs thousands of dollars compared to this slow budget phone. Now I only shot a few couple samples and I'll post them on here so you guys can tell me what you guys think about them. I will let you know my upcoming review of this thing but one thing that I'm really enjoying right now is battery life. It's, it's crazy. I'll let you guys know that in my full review of this device. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to smack that like button and also make sure to subscribe so you guys won't miss the full review of this device. Also make sure to follow me on Twitter at MobileCarlos and I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.